All right, what's up, YouTube? Mind Games here is Jasper, and uh, it's Christmas or not Christmas Eve? It's New Year's Eve. So, um, what I have for you guys today is I thought it'd be fun to do my top ten cases. You know how there's the countdown to midnight. Well, I thought it'd be fun to do the top ten cases thus far that I've I've done reviews on or that I own. Uh, I know that I haven't done a review on one of them which you'll see if you've been following me um, but yeah so let's get this started off at number 10 number 10 on the countdown of 2008 to 2009 we have the Easy capsule rebel now it has nice protection and it is a, it is a neck breaker or a head turner eye catcher whatever you want to call it it looks really nice has a lot of protection but I don't like how it's really hard to take on and off so but it's a really nice case it gives you protection gives you a lot of stuff uh... switch easy capsule rebel at number ten at number nine we have the contour flick now it's a very slim case it doesn't add any bulk and it has it gives a lot of scratch protection it does get scratched itself but it's better to get scratches on your case than your phone and it easy to get on and off just slide it on and off and it's not bad it's a pretty nice case so that's number nine the contour flick at number eight we have the spec see-through yeah that's what it's called spec see-through uh, it has a nice dual purpose it's a case and a video stand at the same time and it also shows off the iPhone very nicely you can also get it in a different color there's black and pink I'm, I'm pretty sure there is and it kind of gives a tint to your phone but if you like clear and want to show up your phone it's a pretty nice case and I like how it also has the rubber rails for extra grip it's not a bad case so that's number eight the spec see-through at number seven I give you the <coughs> contour showcase now it is a really nice case uh, it does what's it called it does show off your phone pretty nicely with this window back here it gives you a lot of protection it does add bulk but I kinda like bulk uh, because it tells you that it's protected and it also comes with a nice clip which can be used with a bunch of other bulkier cases so that's pretty nice and I also like the um, how they have this cover thing here um, but yeah it's not a bad case so that's what we have at number seven, the Contour Showcase. At number six, we have, now number six and number five were pretty close. Uh, number six, we have the Mophie Juice Pack. Now it is a really nice battery charger slash case. I like the colors that they have, green and black. Uh, it, has, it does add a little bit of bulk, but it does give you so much more time to use your phone for when you need it. I know a lot of people are battery killers and you know they need something that charges their phone on the go and and gives protection as well so that's number six the Mophie juice pack now it's only at number six because it's the price it might have been higher if it was cheaper but the price is kind of steep also number five the price is again kind of steep it is the liquid element case now not a lot of people have these cases uh, you can also get them customized so you won't be the same as someone else no two like it is a really nice design it does add a lot of protection but it does add bulk and it is a bit pricey but if you have a dog that chew, likes to chew things or if you have a brother or sister you know they won't chew through this like it's really tough really nice hard case so and gives you so much protection for the it's a pretty decent deal for the price if it was cheaper it'd be probably higher too but that's number five, the L liquid element case for the iPhone 3G slash iPhone first generation. Uh, number four, we have the Ribbit, Ribbit, <laughs> I said Ribbit, Ribbit hard leather. I know when I did the review for this, everyone's like, it sounded like you're saying Ribbit, like talking about a frog or something. Uh, I'm not talking about a frog, I'm talking about Rivet. You can see that, Rivet. Okay. It's a nice leather case. It feels nice in the hand. It's it looks nice and it's also a really nice alternative to another company which I won't say because you know 
everyone knows who they are, who I'm talking about, if you saw my review. But it's a nice alternative, and it, does, it is pretty, it's, it is a lot cheaper, and feels nice, and it's practically almost the same case. So that's number four, the Rivet Hard Leather. Now number three, I originally had at number seven, but after going to the Apple store and holding a few of them, I didn't buy them, which was stupid, but I'm going to do my review once I do get the two other ones. And if you've heard my other videos or seen me anywhere, uh, I've talked about this. It is the in-case slider. It's a very nice simply case, or a simplistic case uh, that adds a lot of protection. The only thing I didn't like was that it does lift up the screen protector. Um, but it might be just because I've been using bulky, like, thick screen protectors. But it is a really nice case and feels nice in the hand and looks really simple. So that's number three, the in-case slider. At number two, it's almost like the, the in-case slider, but I think it's better than the in-case slider. We have the Griffin Clarify. Now the only reason I've rated it higher is because of this lens. It adds a, that little extra for the, practically the same price and it does look really nice. If they came different colors, it would be pretty cool. And it also is a bit softer on the inside than the in-case slider. And we, I haven't had any or heard of any known issues of this case actually scratching the phone. I've heard the in-case slider scratch his phone. It hasn't scratched mine. Uh, so that's, that's the number two case, the Griffin Clarify. And at number one, what I'm rocking tonight for New Year's Eve, is, I wish I had the other one, the Switch Easy Capsule Neo. I really like this case. Uh, it gives you three layers of protection. Uh, it is a bit bulky again, but I told you I really like bulky cases because you know there's protection there. Um, they have the little silicon in membrane. You can see it. that's kind of a pain to get on, but it does, it a really nice, hard, rugged case, uh, which I really like. And that's why I have the Switch Easy Capsule Neo at number one. Now this is what I call the skunk. Um, I have both of them, the black and the white. I just didn't bring out the black one or the other one for tonight. Um, it's in my other box of stuff, but yeah, so number one, the Switch Easy Capsule Neo. Um, guys, thanks for sticking with me for a couple months now, you know. I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me. We'll be doing a lot of stuff in 2009. A lot of fun stuff. I know this video might have not been as fun as a couple of my other videos, but, you know, I got to head out soon. So I was going to make this really quick and just shoot it up to YouTube. Um, oh, shout outs. I wanted to give out some shout outs to some people. Uh, this is in alphabetical order, actually. So first, I want to give a shout out to App Store Reviewer for for uh, featuring me on his channel. Uh, helped me a lot. I think I got like 20, 30 new subscribers off that. Um, he also has another page called John's Cases. So he's doing app store reviews and case reviews, which is pretty awesome. I uh, also want to thank sh or give a shout out to Brickshot7. Really nice reviewer. Pretty cool guy. He's He has a dual membership, which I think is pretty cool. Or membership, uh, citizenship. He also does stuff for not only iPhone, but, you know, other stuff. Uh, Bunny Drumming, Funny Girl, Case Reviews, nice reviews. Uh, English Twist, sorry, I'm just going through the list because I'm running out of time. English Twist, he does some awesome reviews. iTouch iPods for all you iTouch users. Uh, Apple Girl, J Princessa 85 the same person. Um, she does really nice reviews. Punisher 08 and Spader1, uh, shout out to those guys. Uh, you, you guys, just check them out, you know. Um, also, Hey Your Own and Key714, they're like my loyal like subscribers, so I want to give a shout out to them. Key, how many times did I say I'm in this video? Uh, <laughs> there's another one for you. But And last but not least, uh, Carlos, it's me, Morpheus. He, he's the king of cases, like he's the one that started all this and, you know, he paved the pathway for a bunch of us reviewers. And, you know, without him we wouldn't be here. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got. Hope you guys have a happy New Year's and be safe.
Peace out, YouTube.